Yo, 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 it's David down at Crosstown Chrysler in Edmonton, Alberta. And for the used car superstore, it's this 2017 Ram 1500 ST in granite crystal metallic paint, powered by the 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 engine underneath the hood. This is a quad cab configuration truck with the six foot box on the back. Come to the front here, you'll have halogen headlamps lighting up the road in front of you with high beams and these are also the running lights and of course turn signals. You have that chrome around the grill, honeycomb inside the grill. Front and rear bumpers are chrome. Come to the side here, this Ram 1500 is running on 17 inch Goodyear Wrangler mud and snow tires with plenty of tread on there. You'll surely have lots of traction there on alloy rims and there's mud flaps behind all four tires and there's four wheel disc brakes all around. Black door handles on the outside on all four doors and both driver and passenger side door mirrors are break away and they're heated mirrors as well. So you heat these up, defrost them and see what's beside you. Open up the driver's side door here. Black door panels throughout. Storage down below. Nice place for an arm. This has power mirrors, power windows, power locks with window lock. Driver and passenger side windows are automatic. Move inside here. This has automatic headlamps, so you can set it and forget it. That is a dimmer knob. That button there will turn on the box lights. Handle right here, so you, the driver, can easily get inside this truck. Soft touch steering wheel. Feels great in your hands. It is a tilt steering wheel as well. Driver's seat is manual adjustment. Cloth seating throughout. Adjustable headrests on the front seats. And this has adjustable seatbelt height. So depending on how big or tall of a person you are, you can adjust the seatbelt height so you're most comfortable inside this Ram truck. Nice materials in the middle here for arms to rest on. Grab this chrome handle. There's the large storage compartment right here with a change holder. And there's a USB port and an auxiliary port connected to your media so you can play music through the speakers at the Ram. And there's a 12 volt DC power outlet right there. Three big cup holders in the middle here with bubbles to hold your cups into place. Flip this up, this becomes the middle seat for that unexpected passenger allowing for six people to be comfortably seated inside this truck. And it easily comes right back down. Let's go take a look in the back seat area. All right, check out that black door panel looking good, right? Convenience handle right here. Lots of foot room in the back seat area. Plenty of headroom. Adjustable headrests in the back seats too. Hooks up above so you can hang up nice clothing. So if you're going to a nice event, your clothing doesn't get all wrinkled. Two big cup holders in the middle. The interior light is right there. This does have the rear bench seat and it easily flips up for you. And you put things underneath. And whatever is underneath the seats, when the seats are down, will be out of sight and secure. This is where you put gasoline inside this Ram truck. Come back here. The box lights are just up there. Check out the chrome bumper on the back, looking very good. Spot for a trailer hitch down below here with connections so you can hook up a trailer or power up any aftermarket devices using this Ram 1500. Nice Ram badge, 4x4 badge, looking good. Open up the tailgate here. There's hooks in all four corners to tie down your load so you don't lose it when you're driving down the highway. And this is a locking tailgate. Press the lock button on the key fob. All four doors will lock, including the tailgate. Come to the other side here. I'll show you the other side of the back seat. Boom. Power window switch, nice place for an arm, looking good. Convenience handle on this side as well. It doesn't matter where you flip up this bench seat. What matters is that it does flip up. Front passenger side here, storage down below. Power locks, power window switch, looking good. Spot for some pens or packs of gum. Directional air vent, which you can close and open. Lower glove box here with a manual and lots of other goodies in there for you. Let's say if you're a dude and you're owning this truck and your wife or your girlfriend is going to be riding with you, she can put her purse right here in the storage area so it's right in front of her. It's secure and not on the floor. Convenience handle right here and the passenger seat is manual adjustment and underneath the passenger seat are the tire changing tools which allows for easy access. And there's airbags built into the front seats for safety. There's side curtain airbags, driver passenger side airbags, and more. The Ram 1500 is a very safe truck to be in. Let's hop inside and take a closer look right now. Oh, happy day. Now I'm sitting inside the 2017 Ram 1500 
ST, and here is the key fob. There's an unlock button, a lock button, and a panic button, and a nice RAM badge on the back. Using this key fob here, go over to the side, push it into the ignition. All you gotta do is turn it, and that starts up the truck. The tachometer, the speedometer, the fuel gauge, and the temperature gauge looks very good, very easy on the eyes, and this truck only has 8,770 kilometers on it. Pretty much a brand new truck. Come to Crosstown and take this truck for a test drive and using buttons on the left side of the steering wheel right here. We can go through the driver information center and the first thing you'll see is that there's a digital speedometer which you can change the miles per hour if you're going to the states. You have your vehicle info area here. It tells you tire pressures for all four tires, transmission temperature, oil temperature, oil pressure, oil life, battery voltage, full on gauge summary, engine hours, and back to the tire pressures. Fuel economy page lets you know your average liters per 100 kilometers and your fuel range on your tank of fuel. You have a trip A calculator and a trip B calculator. Both of them have never been reset before, so you'd be the first one to reset those. Tells you how far you've driven, your average fuel economy, and the time you've been driving for. Message center in case the ramp the hunter wants to tell you something. Screen set up here so you can customize the screen, make it more of your own. There's more settings down below. Turn the menu off if you don't want to look at it. Press the button on the steering wheel again. It comes back on. That's a customizable info bar. And right now, when audio is on, it'll tell you what's playing on your media, but it is muted right now, so it's going to tell you that. Outside thermometer, and if you open up any door on this truck, I'll let you know which door on the truck is open. Nice big RAM badge in the middle here with, of course, a horn. Is a very loud horn. Cruise control on the right with your gear selection buttons right there. Rotary style gear shifter, very out of the way and easy to use. Push button, four wheel drive. This has traction control, tow slash haul mode. Another good spot for some pens or packs of gum. There's a 12 volt DC power outlet down here. A pull out drawer, feel free to put anything in that drawer for quick and easy access. And there's another 12 volt DC power outlet right here. Comic controls are very easy to use. You can adjust your fan speed, adjust your temperature, adjust where you want the air to go. This button here will turn on the heated mirrors. Air conditioning, fantastic. Directional air vents in the middle here, which you can close and open. Nice RAM badge there, a little spot for some things. Rear view mirror, fold down sun visors up here that are breakaway, and the passenger sun visor has a vanity mirror. There's tons of visibility out the front window, and to the left is Crosstown Chrysler, looking very good. And here is the media center. Press the power button, it comes on. Great sound quality through the speakers. Definitely rock out, have a good time while you're driving this Ram 1500. You turn it back down using this volume knob. The system is very straightforward, very easy to use. You get your presets down below here. Seat buttons, play pause button, just your audio menus and customize system settings. The back button will help you guide through your system. This is a tuning knob and a browse button. If it's not showing you the song or the artist on the screen, you press the info button and I'll tell you the song and the artist. If you have anything plugged into the USB port or the auxiliary port, press the media button and you can listen to all your favorite tunes. And this does have Sirius Light Radio, but you do need a subscription for that. AM radio and back to the FM radio. Press the power button again, it shuts off. The interior of this truck is fantastic. It's laid out very well. It's very spacious in here. And it feels like you're driving a truck when you drive this round. Definitely come check it out sometime soon. It's the 2017 Ram 1500 ST in granite crystal metallic paint powered by the 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 engine underneath the hood. This is a quad cab configuration truck with the six foot box on the back and it has four wheel drive and six passenger seating. Come on down the Crosstown Chrysler and see if this is gonna be yours. I'm your man David and I'll talk to you later. Yeah, yeah.